boys today i'm gonna be giving you another video in which i found a pretty insane spot where you can literally blink on top of the blood lodge now this doesn't give you much of an advantage in the game whatsoever but i just kind of wanted to showcase it as a cool little easter egg because it's not often where you get to see the kind of like entire map like this so to record this video i'm gonna go into about 50 auto haven games until i get blood lodge and then i'm gonna be blinking on top of the building coming out after they pop the last gen and seeing what we can do in that end game oh okay right so Plan of operation. We have spawned on the complete opposite side of the map from where we need to be. Luckily, we brought double range, so that issue isn't too bad. The only problem is if someone directly sees me go up, but even then, this is such a weird space to go. I don't think anyone would expect it. I just kind of need them to not really be looking at me. That's the area that we want to blink to. We need to get to around here to actually get up there. I didn't want to bring played flannel, which makes this a little bit harder. There we go. Perfect. Okay, this is where we want to be. And I don't think... Did Fang see me? 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 It doesn't... Did she... She saw me! <laughs> well, she knows. Hopefully nobody else knows. And I'm just gonna be chilling up here. I mean, we have no ed. I see um, only three people, which is a little bit weird. I know this person has no idea where I was because they haven't seen me at all. There were two on the complete opposite side of the map, which is... Uh, interesting. Our gates are somewhat close. I think the fangs over here, right? I don't know if I'm being stupid or not. I do see some scratch marks, though, so we'll try and chase that. In fact, I even see the person. This double range on a map like Blood Lodge helps quite a lot. And I actually read that movement. I'm pretty proud of myself for that one. Um, the worry is if they rush the gates, because rushing the gates on a map like Blood Lodge with how huge it is even with double range, it's not easy to uh, to come back from this at all. Fang uh, actually seems pretty decent in chase with her movement. I don't know if taking the vault was the best idea there, but I assume, yeah, it's a live play. Oh, they got my... Okay, they're playing this pretty well. I get a hit through the pallet, so we'll take it. We're probably going to have to come down to some sort of Blood Warden play. Because, again, this Fang's playing really smart in the sense that she is not even... Um, running anywhere near the gates. She doesn't want me to get anything from this. The med kits as well. Because I believe there were three in this lobby, three med kits. Uh, with Noed being gone, that's going to make this a whole lot tougher. Plus, in general, at high MMR, uh, there just tends to be three or four dead hearts every single game. That's uh, just pretty much fact. So that's going to make this very hard. What the? I don't know what happened there. I couldn't tell you what that was. If I'm honest, I, I don't actually know, but she's being very ambitious. Um, I mean, we'll try for a Blood Warden play. I'm hoping they're going to go for the heal tech. Can you get it off, though? Okay. I think I body blocked her to the point where she couldn't get it. She's going to leave. It's unfortunate because this is such a cool spot to hide in. But Blood Lodge is just the such a huge map. It used to be a really, really good map for us, but uh, now... Not as much with uh, how massive it is. Uh, obviously, you have a lot of line of sight in the middle, though. So there's ups and downs to this map. She's getting in the... I mean, smart. You're, you're still not getting out, unfortunately. But it was a smart play. I can respect that. There was a survivor here. Oh, okay. Well, that made me jump. I was about to say there was a survivor here, and of course... She has already healed herself. Uh, predicted the fake double back, though, because these survivors seem pretty damn decent. Oh, what happened there? I don't know if that was a frame drop or if I was just terrible, but... She snapped to the vault really well. I'm not going to make that. I think this is going to be a 1k, but it took me so long to get this map. And yeah, Fang just leaves, surely. Yep. Like I say, very cool spot. And uh, I wanted to showcase it, but a very difficult map. 
I'm surprised Fang didn't say anything about actually seeing me up there, but GG's, good game. Okay, basically, because it is so hard to get that map again, I'm just gonna do the typical, I've loaded in, I'm just gonna pretend to be AFK. I do have Insidious, which might bait it out a little bit, because I have to have Insidious for the other build, of course. But let's just see if this will work, because obviously now we're at high MMR, because I play way too much Nurse, so I'm pretty interested to see how these survivors will do. Okay, I mean, I'm surprised that I actually still have no ed because these guys were running around cleansing and they are on my totem, but there's surely no way they get that unless I have blink bug, which I don't. So unfortunate, but you're not getting that off. I mean, now the worry is, are they just gonna open the gates and not really care about their teammates? Because we definitely got very unlucky on that gate split or Another worry is, uh, do one of these two people have Unbreakable? They popped a gate, okay. I mean, are you just gonna leave? I mean, oh. We take those, okay, sure. I know the other person's at the gate, so I feel like, I mean, there's not even any chance to use Blood Warden. But there you go. I mean, if you've ever wondered how the AFK strat would go in the higher end of MMR, I, I guess that's it. Very excited to see this end game, chat. I don't think they want to talk to me. <laughs> I don't blame them, to be fair. On to the next one. Okay, so believe it or not, I have been sent... There it is. Okay, I got Thompson House before. Um, it is, like, one of the only maps that doesn't have a harvester on it. Can I get it up first time? Here it is. This is the spot. He's cleansing my totem. I really wanted to try it. What are you doing, Steve? Don't touch my totem, Steve. I won't allow it. And inconspicuously, back into my spot. <laughs> there we go. That's exactly where she is. Maybe they just didn't think I had bitter. But uh, yeah, I've kind of guessed at this point that you probably have a pretty good idea, Nia, that the nurse likes to blink onto the other side of the pallet. Like I say, we are in high MMR and these survivors definitely aren't stupid. They haven't given me anything for free. They're still making me work for this, absolutely. Are you just in this snowman? <laughs> Even he realized that I realized, but uh, Jeff, we are going with a little bit of a body block and we'll put you onto the floor. Let's try and get to this other gate. I assume they're gonna do this totem over here. They know that I have it. Yep, there we go. No surprise there. You get a hit on the Steve though. I have quite literally no idea where this Felix is at all. So I think best case scenario right now, if I want to keep my pressure, is just chase the Steve. Okay, we take that. It was actually a pretty good blink. So he means that they're in this corner. So I want to watch this path because I don't want to let them pick up the Nia for free. Felix was here, still is here, okay. I was about to say free hit on the Felix, but him running through me actually really threw me off. I think we could do this. It depends on uh, dead hards. This guy, I think had live, but just didn't play it amazingly. Kind of just held W. So am I wrong to think that they're both in this corner? Oh, that's so unfortunate. If I got that down, I think I would have been free. No? He has head on. That's crazy. And just like that, I've lost everything. <laughs> this sucks. Well, you're not getting that off, Steve. Um, I don't know if I can get a Blood Warden in time. They actually didn't. Okay, that's wild, but sure. There's an injured survivor going for save. That's even more wild. I mean, as long as if I don't let her get too far away. She just went for the heal for whatever reason. Okay. Oh, that's the Jeff and the Felix. Sure, we'll get the hit on the Felix. Are these guys gonna even try? No, they're not even trying. Okay. Um, I could hook the Felix and theoretically get this girl before she leaves. Let's see. Uh, I think Jeff will probably come in for the save though, but... 
No, dead hard. Wow, okay, I'm shocked. At this point, I think I just assume that they're both going to this gate over here. Yeah, I, I think they're just going to the other gate at this point. But I'll definitely take a TK. 